So we noticed that there might have been an issue with his speech when he was about to. We had brought concerns up and we started with early intervention and he started in the IU-20 and then we sought out independent outpatient speech therapy as well. David was diagnosed with apraxia of speech. Apraxia of speech is a speech sound disorder. The message from the brain to the mouth gets mixed up. It's a motor coordination disorder. When David first came to me, he was primarily nonverbal. He was using sign language as his primary means of communication. It's a hard pill to swallow to realize your child's different, but it doesn't make it any better for them if you don't tackle it head on. And you need to seek out experts to figure out what to make their future better. The treatment plan initially was to just get him to imitate vowel sounds. Vowel sounds are what tells us, gives us the information. So if I said, I don't know, you know, it's not I don't know, it's what I said. I said I don't know, based on inflection and vowel sounds. We started out at three times a week um, because the nature of the disorder is such that it's, it's a lot of practice and a lot of repetition. It's, it's also parent education. I needed that direction on how to get him from signing sentences into stating and saying words. And she pushed for him to be verbal with it. Within about a month of starting here, he actually started developing full sounds, new sounds, words. David's heading to kindergarten this year and I think he's ready. He's really ready. <laughs> so as he starts kindergarten, we're still keeping our therapy appointments. There are days and times where he doesn't want to come to therapy. Sometimes he is a kid, but it's really important to address any speech issues because you're their advocate.